CIT shares, as we mentioned, halted. They were halted before the uh, closing bell today, pending news. We've got Reuters reporting that U.S. aid, including a temporary loan, may be announced within 24 hours. So will the U.S. step in and rescue the lender? Let's bring in Bloomberg's editor-at-large, Tom Keen, to talk about this. So what? The momentum? They're going to come in here? It looks like they're going to maybe rescue them. Right, I think we need to be careful here. I just spoke to Otis Bilodeau, our head of finance uh, uh, for a good part of the world. Otis uh, beleaguered with all the other stories. And right. of course, the earnings stream coming out made very clear to me that, that even with this Reuters report, there's a certain uncertainty, if you will, as we go into the evening hours on what is clearly an important issue. I know you were speaking earlier uh, with a group of people about this idea of the retailers being affected, the small business people uh, being affected. What I would focus in, particularly what we did this morning on Bloomberg surveillance with this, is the size of CIT. It's small. That's it's the small. headline for your viewers is this isn't GE Capital. It's not one of the 19 banks. So that notion um, of too big to fail. Well, maybe these, these guys yeah. aren't too big. Well, you think of Norio Rabini. I'll try to fake it. If it's too big to <laughs> fail, it's too big. Or however Norio would do that. David Kotak writing last night with Cumberland Advisors, quote, watch the deal outcome for CIT. It is defining the new limit for too big to fail. Dan Clifton and Strategist Research Partners agreeing with that and wondering how a Busy Washington will grapple with this idea of what's the new new, what's the new normal, if you will, for right. too big to fail. Well, you know, and you know, Credit Suisse has weighed in on this, Tom. They talked about what if if, if uh, the government keeps City alive, that they're kind of creating what a zombie-like bank. I mean, a lot of folks seem to think even if the government comes in, it's not going to change the fate for CIT. I like the distinction your Charles Peabody made in your previous segment: this idea of shadow banking versus the real banking, the regulated banking. And as we go to the new system, and if if we fold the shadow banking in, how do you fold in these beleaguered firms? Let me make clear, Jeff Peak, who's been running CIT, I haven't had a single person today really state, oh, CIT messed up, they screwed up, however you want to phrase it. It's this idea of they were blindsided by an economic contraction, by the spreads widening. So they're not responsible? I'm not hearing purely they're not responsible in hearing that a large part of this is many different companies uh, blindsided by the economic contraction and now the credit losses that were were, were considered to be widely uh, unexpected. All right. Is there a sense of an equivalence between kind of what happened with Lehman at all or City? I know you guys talk a lot about it I, on I, uh, surveillance. Yeah, I, I haven't heard that. Lehman was a, was a starkly different system with a great interdependency. Same with AIG. Right. The politics here and, and, and certainly politics is front and center, particularly with our new financial capital, Washington, D.C. Right. The idea here is that, yes, it is this idea of CIT servicing a large body of small business people, including commercial aircraft and including uh, those retail right. factors and those right exactly but there are other options out there can you imagine Carol Masser with Bloomingdale's <laughs> shut down because of CIC it's frightening my husband idea. may be listening yeah. um, all right so you know the backdrop interesting week you know in terms of financials Tom you had Goldman Sachs record earnings you've got CIT a much smaller player different type of company yeah. so what that's uh, what do we got to more focus on what the Goldman story this week I, I think it could be any number of stories I, I would focus on Jan Hatsi as this note early this morning, uh, the idea of forcefully saying there will be another stimulus. They just don't buy the economic recovery story. All right, we got it. Tom, thank you so much. Sure. Bloomberg's Tom Keen joining us to break down CIT.